Hi, my YouTube family. Well, I have happy mail, um, mail that was sent in for my 300 subby giveaway. And so we're gonna get started. The first one is from Jamara Rodriguez. And she is from Pennsylvania. I hope that's right, PA. I think that's Pennsylvania. And she sent me a card And it says homemade um, paper clips and I'm not sure. My reading is bad. Oh wow, she put some confetti in there. Look at the donut. Love it. And an owl. And a paper clip that says love, love, love. And some flower cutouts. Lots and lots of itty bitty flower cutouts. And a pink donut. Love it. Thank you, Jamara. And this pretty card. And I will keep in touch with you. And in um, the near future, we can do a swap. And so, let's see. She has a bag right here. The ice cream cones. Look at the owls. Oh, look how cute. The doggies in the teacup. <laughs> that is precious. And, you know, I, I don't know how you know I play the piano, but she sent me the piano. I love to play the piano. I have the piano in my living room, but loud noises um, aggravates Hunter. So when he's home, I can't play my piano. And then the ice cream cones. Thank you so much for this, Jamara. And she has... Like, that wasn't enough, right? She sent me a pocket letter. And look how pretty she wrapped it, guys. Y'all put me to shame with all this wrapping, guys. <laughs> but at least y'all know when y'all get something from, from me, it won't be this beautifully wrapped because I'm a horrible wrapper. I can admit my faults. That's one of them. And a lot of people, their most favorite holiday is Christmas. It's my most dreaded holiday. I love to shop, but I hate to wrap. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> this is so pretty. Look, guys, she has the flowers and hello. She has faith there, the flowers and then hello. And look, the Lord's Supper. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And if you're wondering, <laughs> why this is gonna make me cry before i came on here i was praying i'm just gonna tell y'all i live five minutes from baton rouge right here in baton rouge my daughter lives in baton rouge i mean we're the little small town connected to baton rouge and guys we just had six officers shot today Three of them died. Three are in critical condition. They don't think they're gonna make it. The protesters are protesting. Black Lives Matter. And guys, I, I'm just gonna say this. I, wa I was not gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. I will because you know, I prayed about it, and, it, and this right here, 
to me is a sign that it's okay for me to do this. So I'm going to do it. Guys, you're protesting Black Lives Matter. You shot some black officers. Tell me how that makes any sense. You shot some white officers too. But you're protesting Black Lives Matter and you're shooting black officers. It makes no sense. None. It's all the protest is in vain. And let me tell you something else. Black lives do matter. They do matter. White lives matter too. Asian lives matter too. All lives matter. We need to protest that all lives matter. But if you're going to protest, protest the right way. Get something done. Going out there and murdering someone, when you, when you shot those six officers, black and white, what kind of statement are you making that you're a murderer? There's no justice in that. And you did it on the Sabbath day, God's day. Let me, let me tell you something. We serve a mighty God, a very loving, just God. But we also serve a God who is vengeful. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You broke one of the Ten Commandments. Thou shall not kill. I wouldn't be concerned about your body here on earth. And the two of you who are running from the police right now, you can't run from God. We're all God's children. White, black, green, yellow, purple. We're all God's children. And you cannot run from God. And anyone out there who's wanting to protest, you have that right. It's our constitutional right. But if you're going to protest, make sense with your protest. Do it the right way. Those officers that put on uniforms, regardless of the color of their skin, are men. They're men. They're fathers. They're brothers. Their husbands, their children of parents that are still alive, they have children. You're killing men with children. You're killing fathers. You're killing someone's brother, someone's uncle. You're affecting a multitude of families. You're affecting a community. You're affecting families, and you're killing God's children. You cannot run from God. I pray for your soul because you're not getting nothing accomplished by going out there with guns and shooting. Your point isn't making sense. And the people that are out there doing it the right way, you're, no one's paying attention to them because of your foolishness, because you're killing innocent people. No one's paying attention to what needs to be paid attention to. That all lives matter. Everyone's life matters. And if you take a life, you need to do it the right way. But no one's paying attention to that because you're breaking the law. You're not only breaking man's law, you're breaking God's law. We need to stop this. We need to stop the violence. It needs to stop because God's wrath is mightier than any man's wrath. And if you remember in the Bible, God destroyed the temple because they were breaking God's law. They were gambling in the temple and it infuriated God and God gets mad and he gets vengeful and he takes out his wrath on his people when he gets vengeful. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to think before y'all act. You're not only, you didn't only take the life of three men and possibly six of our police officers 
who are on those streets, they were there to protect y'all. They were there to protect the protesters. They're doing their job and they don't get paid much for their job at all. I mean, is their life worth $24,000 a year? No, it, no, it's not worth taking their life for. They were just doing their job. Now you got little children that are gonna wake up tomorrow without their father. You didn't do anything. You didn't make a name for yourself. The only name you made for yourself was idiot, idiot, dummy. You killed innocent people to make a point. But what was your point? Black lives matter, but you shot black officers. So your point is null and voided. Your point wasn't made. Your point is you're a murderer. Guys, all my YouTube family, I'm going to ask all of y'all, can y'all please come to, together with me in agreement and prayer? We need to pray for these young people and these people out there that are going around with guns and shooting to make a point that's not getting made because their point is breaking the law and it's breaking God's law. We need to pray for them. We need to pray for the officers' families. These officers that were murdered, they were murdered today for doing their job. They're not the ones that shot that boy, but they got killed for someone else's actions. It makes no sense, none at all. So if y'all would today, please pray. Y'all pray that these young people make better choices these people that are out murdering people can make better choices. We need to pray for them. We need to pray for this whole situation that God takes control of it. Guys, stop killing. I have nothing against protesting. Do it legally so your point can be made. The, there was no point made today other than these guys were ignorant uneducated in my opinion you can't protest black lives matter and then kill black people you can't do it you shouldn't kill anyone every life matters that's what we need to make a point about every life matters white lives matter black lives matter Asian lives matter everyone's life matters stop the killing stop please it broke my heart what do you think it's doing to God's heart guys please stop and you two guys I you probably won't even see my video but please just turn yourself in your life doesn't need to be taken you can't run forever they're gonna find you and will they bring you in the right way Probably not. So please do your parents a favor. Do your sisters and brothers and your children a favor. Just turn yourself in. Please. Your life matters too. So guys, I'm sorry. I was supposed to get on here and show y'all happy mail. And Jamara, I want to thank you for this pocket letter. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. I love it. I love the paper clip she made me. She filled the back, guys. Beautiful. Look at the mason jars. Guys, please pray today. Please pray for Baton Rouge and all over that everyone that does protest makes the right choices. The right choices. Y'all do it the right way, guys, because black lives do matter. White lives matter. All lives matter. So, yeah, with that being said, close your eyes, wrap your arms around yourself, wrap your arms around your family, give them a big hug, because you never know when they won't be here anymore. And if no one's told you today, I'm going to tell you, I love you. You are beautiful, you are special, and God loves you too. 
Guys, please pray. Bye.